How's it going, everybody? Today we're playing some Mimir. And, you know, let's use a different skin. I do gotta say that it's been a while since an upload. Last upload, I had an edited video uh, by Slayer Beast. It was a great video, but I haven't been uploading as much. Sorry, I, I don't know. I, I need I need to get better at, at uploading uh, more frequently. Uh, I've been streaming, just uh, not, not been uploading. But that's okay. Let's just get into things. I have been enjoying Smite, surprisingly. For some reason, whenever... Whenever everyone else is not liking Smite, I'm liking Smite. It seems to be a recurring theme. And then once everyone starts liking Smite, I'm like, needing a break. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, currently uh, the huge patch of just a ton of Smite nerfs came out. And honestly, I want I want more. I love to see Smite nerfs. Um, I think Power Creep has been kind of getting stronger and stronger over time for Smite. So seeing just a blanket of nerfs is good. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip this pause. Okay, one second. I asked them if they needed to pause again. They said Dale Dale, which I'm not entirely sure what that means, but okay. But yeah, just playing some Ymir. You know, Ymir is my main. Ymir is the go-to god whenever I don't upload for a while. I've actually been working on an Atlas montage for a while now. It's like 90% done, but I'm trying to get a specific play for the montage and it just hasn't happened because it requires a lot of luck <laughs> but if i get it and put it in the video that'd be awesome but either way if i don't get the play then i'll probably upload the montage anyways after a while we'll see uh he looks like he's giving this to me for free now it does say i have a flat border on ymir even though my win rate with him is really high right now i'm not entirely sure why that is it just kind of is the way Unfortunately, those minions are in tower, so I can't kill them yet. All right, now let's go take minis. He just got his blue buff. Another start you can go on your mirror is the uh, Spear of the Mages, or Spear of the Magus, however you want to say it. I'm going Bancrofts today. I think Spear recently got nerfed as well, which is okay. It's still a solid item. But I think Bancroft, I just want to have that sustain, that burst damage. Uh, just kind of all of that. Also, he does have beads, so if I blink, I cannot kill. So we want to make sure to get those beads before I blink. Oops. Or I can blink and then, you know, try to get it anyways. Let's see. Oh, I'm bad. But... I do a lot of damage. <laughs> Works for me. Also, I love the Rexy announcer pack. That's my favorite voice line, too, is the first blood, where he says the snowball begins. It's his cat meowing. Is this cat's name Snowball? All right, Mr. Vulcan. This is one of those matchups that it, it's annoying, but it's actually not that, like... I mean, it's, it's it's a pretty bad matchup if the if you don't get the lead. But I have the lead now, so that's good. But Vulcan can definitely win this. Uh, his one goes through walls as well. Specifically, Ymir wall. Oh, you're in a bad spot. Nice. Look at that damage, man. 949, 8 auto attacks. I got this question in my stream the other day, but uh, Gilded Arrow does get doubled by Ymir passive because Gilded Arrow gives you, was it, 25 basic attack damage? And Ymir passive is if you apply Frostbite, which is just pretty much any of his abilities except for his uh, one, that his auto attacks will do 100% more damage. So pretty good, pretty good. And then late game Diamond Arrow is just insanely good. Our red buff's coming up pretty soon. We're pretty much half an item ahead of him. He must have went for his blue buff, I guess. 
No, he didn't. Probably could have killed him there if I went to go wall him off, actually. I'm not entirely sure he why he placed his turret there. He must have not seen me. You know what? This is one of those rare matches where I might go for an early Demon King. He could steal it, but I'm really far ahead right now, and I can get a huge snowball if I take this. If he steals it, then it's whatever. It's not like he's going to get my tower. Hi. What was it? High risk. No, no, no. Actually, it's low risk. Low risk, high reward. Because if he steals it, it doesn't really change anything. Because I'm still crazy ahead. But if I take it, then I can get his tower and stuff. Oh, I do so little damage to this tower. Oops. Oh, now we have minions, which means no more backdoor protections. And even if the minions die, backdoor protections are no more. That was a bad too, considering I knew he was going to use his ability. This is a fitting skin against Vulcan, because he's like the guy that forges things. Yeah, I'm using Titan Forge. I'm just kind of waiting for my three at this point. Oh, that didn't hit. Unfortunate. Uh, if I get my blink here, I do kill. 100%. I just got to not miss. Oh, I'm... Now, now I die. Oh, I messed up. I should have vaulted. Should have vaulted, but I was worried I like wasn't close enough and that he would backfire out of it. So I wanted to get really close. I just didn't think his ult would come up uh, when it did. But he does have 10% re cooldown reduction. Um, Let's go Shoguns. Shoguns is a good item. And then what kind of build do I want to go? Do I want to go into auto attack? Do I want to go full damage with poly? I might do that. Because most Yumeri games I actually don't get poly. And people like it when I get poly. So this seems like a good chance to do that. I can go Book of Filth next and then Polynomicon. Into Rod of Duty. Seems like a solid build. And then I can swap Bancrofts out later on if we don't need it. In a way, it's kind of good I got killed there so that the match is a little bit closer. <laughs> Gotta think of it that way. Oh, are you coming for this? All I gotta do is wall him. Use my alt for CC immunity there. Wait for the wall. Oh, bad wall, bad wall. Luckily, he doesn't do too much damage to me right now. Sometimes I'll go beads against Vulcan, because if you're attacking him, it'll, sometimes the only way to really get him off you, or get me off of him, is with his meatball. And if I use beads on against that, then I can just kind of keep chasing. But I don't know. I don't know what second relic I want here. Upgraded sprint's kind of good. Uh, Bracer. I love Bracer. Bracer's a great item. Lots of options. Now, for late game Vulcan, Aegis is probably best just because his ult does start to do a lot of damage. Also, his ultimate's down. We should go for Demon King right now. Right now. If he comes over here, I can kill him. His ult's the, pretty much the only thing preventing me from taking Demon King the entire game. And without it, since I'm ahead, he will die if he comes over here. Now, there is a chance he comes over here at the right time and steals it. Because I don't want to use my ult. He's coming over here. Should be able to get it. Oh, that was close. Now, I should be able to kill him. You have your beats. Also, what I did there was I froze him. I waited on the two until 
my freeze was about to run out. And the reason I did that was that the slow lasts as long as possible. Nice. Because there's no reason to use your two right at the start of your freeze unless you think they're going to beat it or something. Which I, I kind of did. But if you use it at the very end of your freeze... Then you're extending your CC as long as possible. It's just, it's just good to do. Depends on who you're against, though. All right. That was kind of a quick game. I think I'll do a second Ymir game into this. So let's kind of jump into that one. Uh, the end screen, if anyone wants to see that. In Cthulhu. Now, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Guardian versus Guardian... Ymir almost always wins, except for like Savannah's, I would say. But Guardian versus Guardian, I'd say Ymir beats almost all of the Guardians. Maybe Athena can win with a very specific build uh, because of her range and her block stacks. But Ymir should be able to beat Cthulhu fairly easily. And that's just because Ymir passive combined with going auto attack Ymir cannot be outboxed by another Guardian. It's just... Kind of weird. <clears throat> the way I always describe it, I've described it like this before, is that when you have a guardian versus like a hunter, in a lot of, I guess, ways, the hunter is better, right? They have range, they have, have these certain items, they have lots of damage, lots of poke, but they, they have a different tool set than you. And because they have a different tool set than you, you can use the fact that it's different to, to win. Because Guardians, you know, if you get up close, you have a lot of burst. You have a lot of CC, you know, that type of stuff. But when it's Guardian versus Guardian, you kind of have the same tool set in general. And because of that, one of the Guardians is almost always going to have a better tool set. And it just kind of outclasses you in the same way. And that makes it so much harder to beat another Guardian that... Is just better in that regard i don't know if this makes sense but in my opinion and in my experience ymir is one of the best guardians in general in duel and then in general against other guardians so it's hard to beat ymir as another guardian because you kind of have that same idea of a kit you've got burst you've got damage but ymir has that insane passive for the auto attacks you know So that's the way I look at it. That's why sometimes, like, let, like, let's say Cthulhu against a hunter. Cthulhu can win. It's difficult, but Cthulhu can definitely win. Because he, he can, you know, use that tool set. But against Ymir, you're both tanky. You, you both have the increased health, increased protections. You both have a little bit of CC. You both have long cooldowns with damage, you know. And Ymir's is just kind of better. And when I talk about this, I also am talking in general. Like, if you were to have two players of equal skill. Um, like, if you were to put my Cthulhu... I think my Cthulhu is pretty good. Against a good Ymir. The good Ymir would probably beat me. It's more of a god problem. Dang, if I got Blink. Could Blink on him right now, but... Might just go for it. Oh, bad wall, bad wall. I've been doing that a lot lately, where I put the wall, like, at their feet, and it just doesn't work. I'm not sure why I've been doing it a lot least recently. Nothing got changed about Ymir Wall. Oh, that's his escape. I could just walk up to him and ult. Oh, that doesn't kill? I might die here. <laughs> I, I kind of felt like I was going to die anyway, so I figured, okay, if I turn around and he's... W keying at me full speed. Then I should be able to get him in freeze range and it worked. However, I, I, I wasn't sure if he was going to miss his two or not. But yeah, one thing with duel right now too is there is there is almost no one playing duel. Um, I had a stream the other day where I played for like four to five hours and I felt the same two people over and over and over again. And uh, yeah, just no, one, no one's really playing duel. And I don't think Duel is in the worst state it's been. 
Like, I think of I think of all the times the duel had a lot of players and how bad it was then. Also, catching it out there is huge. Oh my goodness. But yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a join duel, but not too many players. So sometimes matchmaking can't do its job. And it's not, not the matchmaker's fault. You can only do so much with the same players queuing, right? That's always a fun topic to talk about, matchmaking and smite. And it's kind of funny when you think about how a lot of issues with matchmaking isn't even, like, solvable. Or a handful of them aren't, anyways. They can be addressed in different ways, but... Like, sometimes matchmaking, it's like, oh, I get teammates at DC. It's like, well, if they're DCing. That's not really matchmaker's problem. They can't predict it that they're going to DC. They could increase punishments for DCing. But that's a whole different story. That's not matchmaking. Or what I like to say, too, is, like, imagine if there was the perfect matchmaking system, okay? Like, it was as good as you could make it with the technology we currently have. But, oh my god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I was thinking I'd be fine, and I'd just kill the wave, but I didn't have my life still. But if you were to imagine a perfect matchmaking system for Smite, it's it still wouldn't be good enough, because then everybody plays differently each game. Like, there's some variety. Like, one game you could play really good and then next game you play really badly and there's just no way to account for that because they could put all players of perfectly even skill and then somebody's just having a bad game and then on average you know with it's like how often do, does somebody just not play at their level or or play way above where they normally are you know it's kind of an interesting thing about where it's like okay Now with Duel, you only need two players around the same skill level, but since so little people queue Duel, it's kind of, it's it's a whole different story for that. Because there's way less Duel players. And even when people do play Duel, sometimes it's like their third game in Duel. So the matchmaker doesn't have any idea where they're at. So it's trying to figure it out for them. It's, it's kind of fun to think about. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I I need to upload more. I need to just force myself to sit down, record, upload. Because it's, it's not that bad. It, the, the majority of the time is the rendering and uploading part. But uh, yeah, I could definitely do more full gameplays and more gods. It's just once I get out of... Like once I go like over a week without uploading, then I start really getting out of habit. Whereas if I upload three days in a row, that kind of becomes a habit. And then I continue with it. If that makes sense. But yeah, hope you guys have an amazing day. Make sure to play a hunter to get Rexy's announcer pack, which we love so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, buddy.